Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that I think every travel filmmaker and photographer has wrestled with at some point in their career, and that is choosing the right lens. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by lens options or just burdened by having a super heavy bag full of lenses on your travels, then this video is for you. Now, having a lot of lenses can seem nice because different shots can require different tools, but there are a lot of drawbacks. Having more lenses can mean more expenses, having a heavier bag, and also just having the risk of having more valuable things on you that you can lose or break. But what if I told you that there was one lens that could drastically change your setup? without compromising on quality. A lens that's so versatile, it can virtually replace every other lens in your kit and you'll be fine with just the one. That is what we're diving into today. Before I get into it, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos on travel, remote working, and filmmaking. Now, I'm sure many of you have either heard of or used or already own this lens, and that is the 24 to 70 Canon RF lens at f2.8. This piece of glass right here has been an absolute game changer on my travels. And I wanna share with you why, and why I think this is an absolutely essential piece of gear for your kit if you're gonna be traveling and filming content. Starting off with versatility. The 24 to 70 is an extremely versatile lens for many reasons. Being able to have 24 millimeter focal range and get those beautiful wide landscape shots and at the same time get a 70 millimeter shot of a portrait or maybe when you wanna get a little bit more compression in your shots is something you're able to do with this lens. This broad range really allows you to capture a variety of different scenes without having to switch lenses, which will save you a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of weight on your back. And then also just generally as a traveler, having a bit of zoom is important because you never know how close you can really get to your subject. So you can get wide and zoom covered. Next up we have aperture. Another feature of this lens is its 2.8 f-stop. And why is this important? Well, it allows for beautiful bokeh, which is when the background is a bit blurred, but your subject is nice and crisp and in focus. Because you know, sometimes when traveling and there's a really chaotic background and you don't want your photo or your video to focus on that, rather on your subject, this allows you to blur a bit of that out because it's pretty common that lenses with bigger zooms than this have a f-stop of about four or 5.6. So 2.8 is really great. Additionally, having a low f-stop means that this lens is really good in low light situations, which you'll come across all the time traveling. Anything from being in a market to night photography, even to just being indoors and wanting to film something, this really allows you to open up the aperture very wide. Having an f-stop of 2.8 lets you really raise the shutter speed, which is great if you want to capture fast moving objects, like if you're in a car on a road trip and want to photograph something going by. Next, I wanna talk about build quality. Build quality is something that's super important to keep in mind, especially when you're trying to pick gear to travel with. Canon L-series lenses are renowned for their high build quality, and the RF 24-70 f2.8 is no exception. This lens is super robust, it is moisture resistant, and it's weather sealed, making it an excellent companion for traveling through numerous different landscapes and situations. And bonus, it's really not that heavy. I forget the actual weight, I'll put it on screen here. So taking it on long hikes and having it hung around your neck is really not so bad compared to when you have one of those massive zooms that's just frankly impractical to travel with. Another great feature about this lens is image stabilization. Whether you're navigating through crowded markets or hiking up a mountain trail, you won't always have the luxury of a tripod or a gimbal. And while not all 24 to 70s offer image stabilization within the lens, Canon's RF version does. It's a little switch on the side of the lens that you can turn on and off that really makes a big difference when it comes to shaky footage. Having this image stabilization allows you to shoot handheld while significantly reducing the effects of camera shake. And this will result in sharper images and smoother videos. Next is autofocus. This lens features super fast, accurate, and quiet autofocus which is essential for capturing videos. We all know how annoying it is when you're filming something and you can just hear that little bit of shake, which the lens I'm filming on is actually doing. And this lens does not do that. It is super quiet. So whether you're shooting a fast paced street scene or a quiet nature landscape, this lens performs super reliably. 
Finally, I wanna talk about cost effectiveness. So buying multiple specialized lenses can really add up. These things are not cheap, especially if you're trying to only invest in really great quality glass. It can set you back quite a bit. But having an all-in-one lens that kind of covers you for super wide or a bit zoomed and keeps the quality is definitely more cost effective. This lens comes in at, I'll put the price for the lens here. So although this is not exactly a cheap lens, it is cheaper than buying multiple lenses. And lenses are a worthwhile investment because if you treat them well and don't damage them, the resale value remains really high. These things are not meant to go out of date and they can last you pretty much your whole career if you wanted to. To sum up, the 24 to 70 RF lens is an absolute versatile power horse that every traveler needs in their kit, in my opinion. Its focal range allows for incredible adaptability, letting you capture everything from expansive landscapes to intimate details. The f2.8 f-stop allows for a lot of creative control and excels in low light situations, which is really ideal for environments that you'll no likely encounter on your travels. Also, this lens is dust resistant and weather sealed. It is really built to last and it's lightweight enough to accompany you on all your travels, whether that's hiking or walking through a city. And the inclusion of image stabilization and autofocus on this lens will really ensure that you have beautiful, sharp, and smooth shots. Finally, while this lens is an investment, its broad utility can make it a more cost-effective solution than purchasing multiple specialized lenses. In essence, this lens could be the one tool that elevates your travel filmmaking and takes it to the next level. But while having the right tools can be really helpful, it doesn't help if you don't know what to film or how to film. But you don't need to be an expert to do all of that or even have a plan because I made this video of how to make a travel video with no plan whatsoever and barely any experience. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link here and you can check it out. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and comment below what other tutorials you'd like to see. Anything involving remote working, travel filmmaking, or filmmaking in general. Thanks and see you in the next one.